Hey everybody, welcome back to Suck Less Saturday. It's Anil out here at the Widener Ranch doing a little bit of shooting and I got a fun one for you this week. You need a shot timer because that which gets measured gets worked on. The Range Tech Timer is the official timer of active self-protection because it is versatile, reliable, feature-rich, and very economical. Check out all it can do at the link below. All right, so if you're watching this as it goes live today, hopefully if we get all of our timing right and all of that fun stuff, uh, the ASP crew and a bunch of fans and a bunch of students are all down in Kansas getting ready to, well, actually we're halfway through the conference by the time that you see this. Uh, so maybe you're at the conference watching, but we're gonna do a, a challenge at the conference that is kind of, uh, it, it came from the mind of Alex, one of the guys that comes to the conference is a little bit of a fan and he and I have become pretty good friends over the last year or so. Alex runs a church security team. Um, I'm not even going to say where Alex is from because I don't know that he wants me to share that. But uh, but anyway, his, his team was looking for some sort of qualifier. And if you run a training team of any kind, especially a church security team, you'll find that what you're going to find or what you already know is that it's kind of hard to get everybody to show up. And so sometimes if you do some fun challenges, people will show up a little bit more. And Alex took it a step further and said, hey, I'm going to come up with this challenge. And then if they complete it, I'm going to give them a coin. So they have a little challenge coin, which is something fun to do. And it's pretty normal in the shooting world to have these kind of things. Uh, so I asked Alex, is it okay if we do this at the conference? Uh, and he graciously said yes and is bringing and some coins along so people at the conference are actually going to get to shoot this thing uh to see now they all have to make a ten dollar donation to the camp so we can make it a bit of a fundraiser because we're trying to help out the kids right uh but then they get to come down and shoot this and what this is is it's 29 rounds on the asp target um, you can use an IPSC or whatever you want to use if you don't have it at home. And I'm going to challenge you to do that. That's this week's challenge, right? An assignment. But uh, we are going to start with a build drill, but it's at three yards. So we're not going to press it all the way out to seven. This is, this is for guys that don't shoot a whole ton, but a build drill at three yards. Uh, if you've got a B8, they've all got to be in the B8. If you've got an IPSC, they all got to be A zone hits, okay? So you've got three seconds to shoot six rounds from the draw into the target. Uh, we're gonna stay at three yards and then we're gonna do the failure to stop, which is gonna be two into the B8 and one into the head box. Uh, gotta do that four out of five runs. So you're gonna run it five times, four out of five of them gotta be clean. So you only get to kill one Sunday school teacher uh, if you're on the church security team, if you understand what that means, okay? Um, then uh, we are going to stay at three yards. And we're going to do some draws to first shot. So draw to first shot into the A zone. Uh, going to have 1.75 seconds. So for some of you, that's pretty salty. And for some of you, that's super easy. Um, I will challenge you this, that for if you're a sub second guy uh, and you decide that, hey, I'm just going to relax and get my hits uh, in one seven, uh, chances are you're going to drop one. And you've got to go five for five to qualify. So you cannot miss one of these shots uh at, at uh yeah we're at three yards but you've got to get them all and they all have to be under 1.5 seconds so it's five separate draws and then lastly we're going to move all the way back to 15 because you know in church security things going to happen at a little bit different distance um and that's just kind of the way it goes so we've decided that okay we're a pretty decent shooter we've got our stuff done and we're, we're squared away at three yards but we're going to back all the way up to 15 yards and we're going to have three um draws well actually we're not drawing on this one starting with gun in hand at the low ready at the beep fire one shot into the head box now i'm not talking just the three by five card you get this whole head box so what is that about a five inch square something along those lines but you've got to get three of those all three of them have to be done in three seconds or less which seems like a ton of time um I've only run this drill one time and it was quite a while back and we were actually going to put it on the channel, but the sound was really bad uh, and I failed this thing. So I think I can't remember which one I failed. Uh, I'd have to go see if I could dig up that video if we even still have it, but it's not as easy as it sounds. And so I'm going to challenge you guys all to go out and do that this week. But before I do that, I'm going to shoot it on camera and see what happens. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a build drill under three seconds with a draw at three yards. All right, I went and got a little bit of chalk because it is, it's 
Well, it's the 1st of September when I'm doing this video and it is hot and muggy out here today and I'm just sweating like a hog. So yeah, you probably aren't gonna chalk up like this before you go to church, but maybe you do, I don't know. Uh, you do you. All right, the last thing on this is all of these stages all have to be shot in one range trip. Now, I, I, I think uh, Alex intended for this to be a quarterly thing and they would all work towards one thing and then they would earn the quarter or the coin at the end of the year. I'm like, you know, the thing is, I think we can work for one thing for three months and get it, but when you have to put all of these different things together on the same trip, it's a little bit more mentally taxing. And, uh, you know, we saw that in Brian Hill's class with some of his stuff as well. So this is a fun drill. Um, here we go. All right, build drill, three yards. I'm ready. Stand by. That was in 2.85. Ooh, 2A5. Uh, I drew out and I got the sun on my dot. And I'm like, oh, where's the dot? Uh, all of the hits are in the nine ring right here. So that's a clear one. All right. Okay. So at three yards, now what are we doing here? We're going to do... Failure to stop five times. Failure to stop five times. So that's two to the body, one to the head. What's the time constraint on it? Three seconds. Same three seconds, and this has got to be clean four, th uh, four out of five times. So if you shoot it clean four times, you don't have to waste the last three rounds if you don't want to. Okay, ready to stop. Ready, stand by. Five, Hang on. Two, seven, two. Boy, that sun right there is beating onto my t onto my dot. Make up for your hands being chopped. Yeah, I guess. Go number two, shooter ready, stand by. All hits in two, four, three. Okay. We're resetting for go number three, shooter ready, stand by. Wow, two point one eight. I'll do the same hole in the head back there. This comes for the rest of us. <laughs> okay, so that's three. This is going to be goal number four. Okay. Are you ready? Stand by. Stand. All hits in 1.90. So that's four? That's four. All right. So now, where's my paper? So now we're going to do three draws per shot, and I have 1.75 seconds per draw. 1.75. You gotta get all three of these. Okay, here we go. Yep. Okay. Shooter ready. Hang on one second. All right. All right. Shooter ready. Stand by. One point three four is it hit? Try number two. Shooter ready. Stand by. Okay, at 1.58. Shooter ready. Stand by. 1.46. Okay, those are all X's too, just so you're... If, for those of you keeping store at home, John, those are all X's. All right, so we're gonna go to 15 yards. So 15 yards, now we are doing the exact same thing, but I have the entire head box to work with here. I'm gonna start gun in hand and I have three seconds to get one hit. I have to do it three times. So it's a repeatable thing that I've gotta do three times in a row, all in the head box, but we use the bigger head box for this. Started low ready, you get to choose your low ready. If you don't like my low ready, then use your own. I don't care, okay? Yep. Hit in one four five. Okay. All right. Get yourself ready again. Shooter ready. Stand by. Hold the hit as well at one one seven. Last run. Shooter ready. Stand by. Also a hit at one four two five. All right. So now. Let's go up and check out the target. So here's all of the B8 ones. I did get one, that's a line break. So everything was in the nine ring there. Uh, and there are all of my hits. That's a bug. All right, so the challenge to you guys this week is go to the range, 
do all of these things, okay? So I'm gonna run through it again one more time and we'll probably try to get this in the, in the notes here. But the dr bill drill, it's six shots into a B8 or an A zone if that's your target. I can live with that, that's fine. Uh, Again, we're doing these at three yards, so it's a little bit closer for, so for you internet ninjas, this is gonna be super easy. Um, but I'm gonna challenge you here in just a second with that. Uh, then you're gonna do a failure to stop, which is gonna be two into the B8 or the A zone, uh, and then one into the head box. Uh, at this distance, I would like you to use the smaller head box if you can, that'd be great. Uh, then we do stay at three yards, and we do a draw to first shot back into the body here. So it's three times, each one of them's gotta be in under 1.75 seconds. That feels generous till you're shooting it. Then you're gonna back up to 15 yards, and you're gonna do basically, it's it's a little bit of a, it's like a uh, Bill Wilson drill, but you're getting a little bit bigger target. So you're gonna get to use the whole head, uh, head box on, a, on like an IDPA target like this. If you wanna be cool like Neil, put them in there. This is the thing, this is a church security thing. This is pure performance mode. This is not speed mode and this is not accuracy mode. This is performance mode. You have gotta get your hits. If you're shooting something in a church security scenario, there's a Sunday school teacher or a little kid back there. And so this, that's the thing, you're, you're going into performance mode. So yes, I can go way faster than that, you've seen me do it. Um, I can probably shoot even a little more accurate than that, you've seen me do it. Maybe, well, some of you have seen me shoot accurately. Um, but when it's all said and done, this is performance mode. Now, when Alex gets his entire crew through this and does the coin, then the, yes, the plan is that there's gonna be a, you know, a, a plan B or a, a second coin that comes into this thing. And now the, the distances are gonna get a little bit widened and the times are gonna get a little bit constrained. This is a great starting point for any church security team, I think. Uh, it's something that is a standard that you can see. Um, you know, We did see in the white settlement thing, the guys that were right there near that guy were at three yards and a 1.7 draw to first shot might have given them a chance. Um, now, I, I, I'm not second guessing them for anything that they did, the, their heroes and, and they I mean the ultimate sacrifice, but if we can learn anything from that, uh, 1.75 draw to first shot is not terrible hard and it can be done. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm kind of a rickety old dude, so. Um, so here's my challenge uh, for the internet ninjas out there that are gonna, if you're gonna come into the comments and tell me how easy this is, I need you to join the Ask Dry Fire Challenge and, and videotape yourself doing this on camera and put it in the Dry Fire Challenge. And then you can call me fat, stupid, and ugly, and a bad beard, all of that fun stuff. But before you do that uh, and make fun of my uh, cheater grip and all of that fun stuff, go shoot this thing, show us what you got, and let's have some fun with it. Um, if you post that in the dry fire group, we're probably gonna have some sort of challenge. You're gonna have a chance to win a prize too. So that might be kind of fun. It'll be a good time. Uh, if you're at the Ask National uh, Conference, you get to make a donation, do this, and you may win, go home with one of Alex's coins as well. So I'm super excited about this one. I think it's a fun drill. I think it means something. And I think there's some opportunity here for a lot of us to really see who we are, but you have to go to the, to the uh, range and shoot this. Last thing. If your range does not allow you to draw, you take out the draw and you do everything from the low ready, right? Uh, if you do everything from the low ready, you've got to take off about 0.7 off of every one of these uh, times, uh, except for the one where you're at a low ready and you got three seconds. So your draw to first shot, uh, those should be one second or less. The uh, bill drill instead of uh, three seconds should be like a 2.3 and the failure to stop should also be a 2.3. So if you understand what I'm saying, you're taking all of this part out if you're gonna start hand and gun or gun in hand. Uh, so that's how we're gonna do it. So guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next week and try to go, go to the range and suck a little less.